aka Women's Wrestling Fans. It's your boy Christopher DePaul and we are back with another video. We are watching Monday Night Raw. The match is currently um, Shayna Baszler, Nia Jax, Lacey Evans versus Charlotte, Mandy, and Dana. Y'all, this match started off with Shayna and Charlotte, then it ended up being the, you know, the six women tag, which ended up at first in a in the count out on Nia Jax's part. I guess that they realized their fuck up and they restarted this match again. That's why I talk about about um, WWE. They always figuring out a way to fuck up the women in wrestling. It's like these women are not getting storylines. They're not getting built up as real characters. This shit just, I don't know, it's fucking awful. Like, I don't get it. But needless to say, let's just watch this match. And I'm going to commentate as I watch it. Um... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm really getting tired of seeing Charlotte Flair. Like, this is no shade to her. She's a she's a good competitor. She's a really good competitor. It's just at the point where they are forcing her down that what's road. Like, she's not that superstar that pe that people want to see. Y'all use this woman in almost every championship storyline. Every. Like, I would not be surprised if she won this Royal Rumble on Sunday. I would really not be surprised by that. As a matter of fact, if she do win, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be fucking pissed. If Charlotte wins, I'm going to be pissed. If there's no shade to her, this is no shade to her or any of y'all, I'm just going to be pissed. So I'm really tired of seeing her being pushed when you got a whole roster of underutilized superstars. Okay, Mandy Rose. Where did this come from? Now, sis, you don't need to be doing no kip-up because your kip-up ain't the best. Okay, and Mandy Rose is getting better in the ring. I do have to give her that. I feel like maybe in another year, she will be able to compete for a championship, for a women's championship. Or even a tag team championship, because Dana, Dana Brooks is also progressing. Slowly but surely. Now, apparently, um, Lacey and Charlotte ran off. Well, Charlotte's currently chasing, um, she's currently chasing Lacey. Cause Lacey pulled out the ring by her leg, which makes completely no fucking sense. But whatever. This is, I'm WWE. Nothing makes sense in WWE no more. So now it looks like it's just a regular tag team match with um, Nia Shayna versus Dana and Mandy. That's what we're getting right now. Ooh! You can tell. Okay. I would not be surprised if Dana's injured after that choke slam that she just received from Nia Jax. Um, my thoughts on this match, y'all. This match was completely all over the place. It started off sloppy. The referee fucked up in the first match. That's why they had to rebook it. Um, it was just, if I had to rate this match from a 1 to a 5, I'm not going to give it a 1 to 10. It's not even worth that many rankings. A 1 to 5, I would give it a 2. And that's just my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all thought in the comment section below. Like, comment, share, and please subscribe to the channel. And I'll be back if we have another woman's 
segment or match. Okay, you guys. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye, y'all.